Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Dom Lovely, your source for all celebrity entertainment news from my point of view. Well, you guys, what an amazing weekend it has been for Mary J. Blige. She, as always, is doing her thing. That's why in the thumbnail I gave her her crown because she is definitely the queen. In addition to her performance at the Super Bowl, alongside Dr. Dre, Eminem, Snoop Dogg, and Kendrick Lamar, she just recently dropped her 15th studio album, Good Morning Gorgeous. After performing the lead single for the new project, Rent Money, which is definitely a bop, you guys. I've heard it. I mean, it's so dope. Uh, Dave East is on that track, and she actually sat down with Angie Martinez to kind of talk about the song and its inspiration. And she dropped some gems, well, some tea on her situation. She stated that the song was born out of a painful and very public divorce from Kendu Isaacs. The queen of hip hop soul said, Rent Money is about when I first got divorced. I had to give up all this alimony and I didn't have no money to give because he had spent it all. So I had to go on tour and make all the money back that I had paid out in alimony. The multi-Oscar nominee says that her finances were so stretched that she didn't have the resources to pay for housing. She went on to say, I didn't have no money to pay rent and all this other stuff, but it's also like a metaphor. Like I didn't have my soul. I was just drained of everything. So it was time for somebody to pay. Sometimes you just feel like somebody got to pay. In 2017, Mary J. Blige was ordered to pay $30,000 a month in alimony to her ex-husband. Now, originally, his lawyers had requested quadruple that amount to help sustain his lifestyle. Isaacs claimed that he has experienced physical manifestations of stress and emotional distress from this matter, which caused him to become hospitalized. We know that Kendu Isaacs is Mary J. Blige's former manager, and he is now, well, at that time, claiming that he is unemployable, and without her financial support, he would be destitute, and paying rent has become impossible. <laughs> well, what is Kendu doing now, you might ask? Well, I checked out his Instagram account, and apparently he's listed as a manager and a lover of music. Would you guys let him manage your career? <laughs> and she goes on to say, yeah, I was very angry when I made that song. Very, very angry. And I was like, rent money due, period. So Mary basically used that situation to create a, an amazing song on her latest album. She wasn't the only one that was angry. Well, around that same time that Mary was ordered to pay alimony, R&B song singer Tony Braxton, uh, as well as Britney Spears and Halle Berry. These are all women in the industry that have had to pay alimony as well. Rent Money has hit all the music streaming services, you guys. It's a great song. I enjoy it. I am enjoying the album. Mary looks so beautiful on Super Bowl night. She always does a great job in her performances. And that drop at the end, I mean, it just said everything. Her outfit was on point. Her hair was on point. Mary is just a queen. I mean, she is one of those artists that you can, like, really relate to. She bears it all. She bears her soul. She puts it in her music. And I know there are other artists who have tried to be transparent as well. But it just don't hit the same. You know what I'm saying? Mary is just very relatable. And, you know, she she's our Mary. And so, yeah, we stand for her. You guys get that in the comments and let me know what you think about uh, Mary just being transparent and open and saying, hey, I'm, you know, I had I had bills to pay. So I had to go back out on tour so I could pay this alimony. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, you guys. Click the notification bell and we will chat again soon. Bye.